Hey everyone, it's Gordon Einstein and I'm doing a flash impromptu interview with Maria Spartalis. I'm from Zurich, Switzerland. Yes, and you know what, before we do anything else, since we are at a garden party at a beautiful location, cheers! Chin chin. Chin chin. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. And wealthy. And wealthy and enjoy life. Enjoy sure. life. Maria, I'm just going to give a brief moment about how right. we connected and then I'm going to let you go at it. So I'm, because it's all about me, uh, I've been obviously in Dubai most of 2021, but had the opportunity to visit the south of France these past couple weeks, both for the Rotosa Summit and also for CC Forum. Maria and I connected up here and she has been fundamental and instrumental in both getting me into wonderful events, which I very much appreciate, but also making strategic introductions. So she's a banker and she'll go into the details, but she's much more than that. She's kind of what I have in my mind is like a European style banker. You know? exactly. So Maria, I'm going to hand the virtual microphone to you. Thank and you. tell us about you. Okay, thank you so much, Gordon, for this opportunity. Sure. It's amazing to meet you here and to network with you. And I hope um, that it will be very interesting and challenging in the future. To, to connect our networks. Uh, some words about me. I was born in Kiev, Ukraine. My favorite city, everyone, as you know. Thank you. <laughs> I did not that, by the way. Uh, I saw the city. Uh, that's my new favorite city. Okay. I've okay. been to Kiev 25 times, as the audience knows. <laughs> now it's that to be, anyhow. Okay. Yeah. So being um, uh, bred in Kiev, I studied uh, law and graduated at Law University. Later on, I came to Austria, Vienna, and started my career as a private banker. Now, I'm going to totally interrupt because that's what I do on the show. Did you practice law at all, or did you go directly into your... I did practice law a while, like uh, one year in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, uh, um, actually, as, as I moved to Austria, it would be hard to be a lawyer in German language. You have to be a lawyer in your native language. Sure. And this is uh, lead me to the possibility to uh, join private banking, start being a banker, wealth manager, using my perfect uh, law knowledge for the KYC, know your customer, and all, uh, all legal side of the customer uh, story to bring them in the bank, to onboard them. Okay. So it actually leads uh, to the same success, just in a different way. Got it. You know, that, which is a very sort of Ukrainian approach. <laughs> it's like a, the hacker mentality, which all my friends have, which I like a lot. Um, so tell us about your your banking practice what right. do you do so right now i'm a partner of Terrace capital in switzerland Zurich, which means that we are like um, open and bank account so just taking over uh, a lead uh, by different swiss banks luxembourg Liechtenstein banks so we are based in downtown Zurich uh, over 10 years uh, with my partners who were like ex top managers of credit Suisse, so ubs bank as me i was a vice president of credit Suisse vienna so we have a uh, top uh, experts in uh, like investments. So we have the best lawyers. We are the company who are like uh, helping our customers to be a private uh, banking client, mm -hmm. but we protect their interest. We try to diversify uh, the risks by being only by one bank or having some kind of issues or like bad uh, advice. Okay. Okay. This is our approach. I like it. And it Explain how and why you're such a fantastic connector. Like, how did that come to be? Yeah, thank you so much uh, for this chance to explain you. So, my career started in Vienna and I started growing up like from the manager, being a vice president of Credit Suisse Vienna. I've been ahead of the mind of traditional bank, which is 120 years old. Mm -hmm. Later on... Uh, 120 euros or years? I heard euros. Uh, they <laughs> yeah. sold it for 20, 20, 200 million euros. There it's you go. Job. Okay. It's a job. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. Um, uh, so anyhow, after that, I, I had a, I was delighted to invite uh, to be invited as a head of section mm -hmm. to the first uh, crypto bank uh, Switzerland, the uh, Falcon Bank. Uh, well, wait, here's the Falcon Bank, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yes. Cheers to the crypto world. Absolutely. And to Gordon, who is a part of crypto. There you go. World community. Yes. Yes. Anyhow, and this is give, gave me a chance to network with the new generation of people who earn a lot of wealth uh, because of crypto business and also blockchain business. Speak to the governments of Switzerland, Britain, and different uh, governmental experts mm -hmm. who were like uh, invaded crypto in Europe. Okay. So that gave me a base and a chance to compare the old wealth management clients in the world to the new world of crypto investors and to combine that. And this bank is active now? Right now, this bank, uh, unfortunately, is not active anymore because it was belonging to Mubadala, one of the biggest, the biggest investment groups of the world, mm -hmm. billion ones. 
So they g gave up uh, after 10 or 15 years. They gave up the license. Mm -hmm. Right now, because it was a, a issue of uh, like a more like Middle East mentality and being in Switzerland, but it gave us opportunity to know all crypto banks and crypto ex experts in Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, and Switzerland. Well, I, I think and it's Gordon, probably the, and Gordon. Who is coming there? Yeah, I think it's probably the foundation of your next big thing, and then exactly. all these resources and all these connections are, of course, deployable. Absolutely. You know, now that we're kind of wiser in 2021. Absolutely. To, to I'm happy some... to share with, uh, with Gordon, with my partners and clients, all my experience, you know, it's my expertise, which is for you. I, I love it. All right, everyone. So this is going to be, this is sort of the flash interview with Maria. We're going to do the longer version. There's lots to talk about, especially her banking experience with, with crypto. Yes. But I just wanted to have a moment because I was able to catch her. She's very busy. I had a moment. She was very gracious with her well, time. This is Gordon. Thank you so much for, I, I'm really I'm a little busy. To be you're, you're, inside of your screen, you know? Oh my gosh, yes. You know, exactly. Just so you guys know, the screen is huge. It's, it's actually yeah. up on a wall. No, not really. Okay. Bless you all. Maria, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Gordon. Beautiful, all wonderful, intelligent, professional. And I hope to Ma. meet you in Zurich, Switzerland, and you meet in screen. Absolutely. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. See ya. Bye, everyone.